What surrounds us matters. From the time we're born to the time we leave this earth, most of that is spent indoors. The need to understand what surrounds us and how that impacts us, not in a natural outdoor state, but in an indoor state, is imperative. Our question was, is half the story missing? There's a lot of focus on buildings and their impact on the planet, but what about all the people we put inside our buildings? And so we wanted to take an evidence-based approach to connect the built environment with the human condition. I met Paul probably about a decade ago when Delos was first opening up. Here's a guy that had a value proposition with a clear vision. So he was talking about merging the science of health and wellness and the science of buildings. And nobody had ever really put it together as a package. We, we kind of were kindred souls. And he asked me about my thoughts on the built environment. Well, I said, let me tell you the negative side. I grew up in a tenement in Harlem, okay? Roaches were all over the house. Paint was peeling off the walls. Often we didn't have heat. So I had lots of pulmonary infections and had to go to emergency rooms for breathing problems and ear infections. That is the antithesis of the appropriate built environment. As I moved up and became a leader in various positions in the military, and then as Surgeon General and in Professor, I started realizing that I had received an unintended education to truly understand the social determinants of health. They were not theoretical, because I had lived them. And so when I met Paul, how do we come together to build the right buildings that will optimize health and wellness, reduce cost, improve quality of life? That's the goal. When we moved to our new headquarters in New York City, it was a great thing for us to put all this science into practice and walk the walk ourselves to showcase all of this science. Advanced air filtration, advanced water filtration, circadian lighting features, active green wall technology, all of these things that can be more conducive to not only health and well-being, but productivity and focus and concentration. <laughs> Through a 10-year journey, we've learned many things, and particularly we've learned what measurable elements matter indoors. Indoor air quality is generally two to five times worse than outdoor air quality. The problem is we don't see it as dirty air, it's invisible. So the need to measure that and help cleanse that is super important, not just from a near-term standpoint, also from a long-term health standpoint. I study how people take in information about the world, information about their environment, and then how they react to that. The overall direction of my work is to help Delos create products that people are actually going to use. And it's not just translating the science, but it's also making something that somebody actually wants to put in their office or in their home. WellCube is our localized air purifier with built-in sensors for the environment. So this is both that air quality information, so how much carbon dioxide is in the air, particulate matter like dust, dander, pollen, smoke. We're also collecting data about the noise levels, temperature data, humidity data, occupancy, where people are moving, as well as the lighting levels within the space. If you have access to this data, you're able to make decisions about what you're doing within a space. And ultimately, this is something that's really important for the well-being of an occupant. There is disparity between people who have access to healthier buildings and people who don't have access. In the past, implementing a lot of smart building technology was really expensive. Ultimately, we want to take this technology and make it accessible for everybody. From the onset, our mission has been to ensure that health and wellness in the built environment needs to be a right, not a privilege. Now you can take the invisible and make it visible through that data. You can put well cubes throughout any kind of building to turn any space into a smart, connected space in a matter of one to two days. Our hope is pretty simple. We would like people to look back and say, Remember when we didn't consider the human condition, when we were designing and operating all of these spaces that we spend over 90% of our lives in? Remember when 
we had to call out wellness real estate as opposed to just real estate. So our hope is in the future, this becomes normal practice.